dear students today we'll learn the optical instrument and the aim of the experiment is to calculate the focal length of the concave lens using the convex lens so over here we have the optical bench system and we have two needles we have one we'll use as a object needle the other one as a image needle this is your convex lens this is your concave lens okay so the first what we do is first we'll set up this convex lens over here and object and we'll try to find out what the image of this inverted image this is the inverted image of this one okay and then later on when we find out the image this is the i1 over here and later on we'll put this concave lens in between now you can see from the ray diagram that this object the real and inverted image is pointed out over here and this if we keep this what is a concave lens in between then what will happen is that it is a diverging lens so the ray will diverge and will meet at particular point i2 so over here this is the image of the first lens which acts as the virtual object for the second lens so this is your object distance and it is converged and meet uh, finally meeting at this particular point so this complete distance becomes what the image distance and in this optical bench system we will form this images and use, using the value of u and v will finally what calculate the focal length using this particular formula next i'll tell you how to take the readings yeah now let's understand how to take the reading first the place the object needle so this is my object needle so let's say it is at 15 cm now and this is my the first lens l1 okay so let's keep it at 50 cm now the inverted image of that needle will be obtained on this side we'll place this needle in such a way that the image of that needle and this needle coincides and it moves together this is called as the parallax removing from tip to tip okay so first i will do that and then i'll note the position of each one of them yeah so this is happening so now see over here so the position of l1 is your 50 cm and position of the object needle is 15 cm and this is observation 1 and the first image that is position of image that is the image of the first lens is obtained at now this is 64.8 64.8 cm now you know this image is over here we'll remove this one now and place on one more lens this is the convex con uh, this is the concave lens and we have to calculate the focal length of this concave lens so i'll place the concave lens in between these two okay and then once again we have to set the position of this concave lens and this needle in such a way that the effective what is say the lens system produces what the inverted image over here and the that inverted image and this needle should again move together so <clears throat> now i'll fix that position So when you see from this, okay, when you see from this, so this two image, the effective lens produces a inverted image of over here and inverted image of that first lens and this image should move like this. So now right now I have obtained that condition and now see over here, let's note down the lens two position. The lens two position is right now. 58.7 so lens 2 is 58.7 centimeter and then the position of image needle 2 this is the 2 the this position so this position is right now 
67.5 so this is 67.5 now your object distance is this the distance between the i1 and l2 so this is i1 and l2 so when you subtract this distance that will be your this distance okay that is your i1 minus l2 i1 minus l2 will be u and your image distance is this distance that is l2 and the i so this is or i2 this is i2 so this one sorry this one that is this is your i2 minus l2 distance this distance will be my v so from these two value u and v using this formula f equal to uv upon u minus v will calculate the focal length now you can repeat the readings okay 